Brock comes right up out of the blocks. Next to him, Benjamin Azamati from West Texas A&M running away with this heat from Ghana. It's Azamati winning the heat easily. 9.99, but you got to wait for the win. We've had some pretty big wins. It's legal. 9.97 with a 1.5 meter per second win. This is how we discovered Tra Trayvon Promel way back in 2013. Fastest time in the world this year. And the first time under 10 seconds. We'll just take a look at the man, young man in the maroon top. Azamati, Benjamin Azamati, just a freshman. Wow. Benjamin, thank you very much for your time. Um, how are you feeling? How are you feeling generally? How are you feeling? Um, I feel good. Um, I feel proud of myself, you know, to come out here and then, you know, run such a good time. So I'm actually proud of myself. You know, I've been following you closely and I'm excited that you've been able to hit the target that you've been talking about for yeah. some years now, making it to the Olympics. Yeah. Before the race, what was going through your mind? Um, before the race, so um I'll talk about my practice times. You know, I was I was I was doing well at practice, so you know, coming out here, I thought I could run a ten. Oh, I mean that was what my coach and I was actually thinking about, you know. We weren't thinking of a sub ten or anything. So I mean I was in the last hit and then when I saw the first hit I was like, damn, a guy ran like ten zero three and I was like, that's too fast, you know. I didn't know I was I was going in there to run a nine nine seven. So I went in there and then one of my guys had run already, so he was like, the track was very fast, and then I could run a good time here. So I just, you know, just had my plan to go into the race, drive, raise your head, and then, you know, just go through the race. So I went there, I did the same, and then I happened to run the 997. I mean, it didn't feel like a 9 to me, because that was the first time. I was like, I thought I had run a 10 or something. I looked on the, on the board, and then it was like, it was a 997. So I was, I was very, very happy. Because, you know, going in, going into the race, I thought I was going to run a 10 -0. And then to finally run in the CA 9.97, I had to be proud of myself. <laughs> so let's talk about the very moment when you, you crossed the finish line and then you saw it was sub-10. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so when I saw, first I saw 9.99. I was happy with that. I mean, I was not even thinking of the, of the Ghanaian record because... All I was thinking about was to qualify for Olympic Games. So when I saw the 9-9, I was spraying for it to be legal because there was so much wind. People who were running the 10 O's had 4.5 wind. So it was very, very windy. So when I saw the 9.9, 9 9 .9, I was very, very happy because I knew I had qualified for Olympic Games. So they said we should wait for the official time. And then it came and then it happened to be a 9.97. I was so happy. I was so, so happy. Now, you know what, Little Miles Mills has, has been coaching you guys. And I remember speaking to you at the 2019 Athletics Championship when he was there. And yeah. he, used to tell, he used to say that, well, one of you were likely to break his record. But he perhaps thought it was going to be Joe Paul. You, you have gone ahead. How do you feel, how do you feel about that, too? <laughs> um, I mean, uh, looking at my times in the 60 meters, I mean, I knew I had a chance to, you know, run a nine this season. But I didn't think it was going to be this early. You know, it's very early in the season. And then, you know, I thought I was going out there to go run 10-1, 10-0 or something. But then to go out there and then run that time, I think it's good. But I think Joe on the other side is also doing very, very well. He ran a 6 6 one, And then he's also capable of running a 9 this season. So I think um, the Ghanaian athletes here look good. I mean, everyone is prepared and all that. So... I'd I'd be very very happy to you know see Joe run a nine too because it's gonna help out really. So yeah, I think that's just about that. Yeah, how have you been managing the calls and the buzz everywhere? You know, people people definitely calling you. I, I was I was screaming in the in the office with guys, but how have you managed? How have you managed it? I mean, uh, it's a normal thing for me. Anytime I run, I get people calling me, I get people texting me and all that. So I'm taking it cool. I'm replying to everybody. I mean, when you call me and then I have to just pick it up and then we talk and everything. You know, you have been with me through my rise and everything. So, you know, anytime you call me, I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to talk to you in my free time and all that. So I'm handling it cool. There's no pressure. I mean, 
that's how Ghanaians are. They love whatever that you're doing. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually happy they are in support of whatever that I'm doing. And, you know, that's just that. Have you, have you seen the, have you received the phone calls from your, your parents, your, your mom? Yeah. Yeah, I had my, I had my dad text me before I went to Iran, and then after, after he texted me that, um, congrats, and then he was, he was actually shocked I was able to run, <laughs> but he was looking forward to me qualifying to, for the Olympic, Olympic Games, and, you know, I, I didn't have, have, have a call from him, because the time of here was very late. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. it. I get it. I get it. So now you've now you've qualified. Uh, what are you thinking about? You know, going forward, uh, preparing for this. Um, now that I've, I've qualified, I'm actually thinking about you know getting to better my 200 meters. You know, um, when I when I happened to run the 297 indoor in the 200 meters, I knew for some reason that my 100 is going to be better because. It's always been said that when, when you get better in the 200, your 100 also gets better. So I knew my 100 was going to be, to be better. So now I'm going to be somehow focusing on my 200 so I can get better in it. Because once you're running the 100, people are going to expect you to do very, very well in the 200 too. So that's what I'm actually going to be focusing on. And then I realized there are certain mistakes in the 100 that I just ran. I'm going to sit down with my coach and then he, you know, correct all those mistakes and then you know, if if possible, come back and then run a better time than this. Wow, 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 wow. So we're looking forward to seeing you um, at the Olympics, looking forward to see you go and do your thing. And yeah. you guys are staying in touch. Um, Jopal and Sean, you guys all stay in touch? Are yes, you... we are. The, the, the quartet team are staying in touch. We talk to each other every time. I mean, after I was done running my 997, I had to talk to Jopal because they're also competing tomorrow. So... We talk to each other every oh, now what, and then. What, what did Joe Paul tell you when, when, when you spoke? <laughs> I mean, he, he was happy and he was like, it's very early. I mean, we all want to run the, the nine, but mine is very, very early. And that he's very, very happy I was able to run. And then it means that they really, we are really going to, to do well. And then we can be medal hopeful someday. So he was happy about it. All right, Ben, thank you so much for your time. And once again, congratulations. We're looking forward to seeing you at the Olympics and doing your thing as you're doing. This has been a, an interesting rise and <laughs> there's more to come, I guess. There's more to come, right? Yeah. 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 There's more to come. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.